Now I'm within a couple of knots of the end of the bracelet, so I'm just going to continue my knots. These last couple I'm not going to tighten down real hard just because I'm going to have to pass the ends through them again. So, part that comes up. Pull this snug. And one more should do it. I will do one more for because it's the right thing to do. There. Now the part that came up is going to pass down and through. There. And the part that went down, that ends up down, which is the orange cord, is going to come up. Sometimes this is easier said than done you got to get this pushed over to the side so you've got some room to do this. There we go. Even if I've been doing this for a while, sometimes you get it wrong. At the very end here, both pieces go down because I have to finish them off at the end. There. Now this is where the marlin spike comes in handy. I'm going to trim these off so that I've only got a couple of inches to work with. Notice I ended up with probably uh, about an extra two feet of cord, but I'd rather come up with extra than not have enough. Because if you have too much, you throw away a little bit of paracord. If you don't have enough, you get to start the bracelet over, which can be really, really frustrating. Again, watch it because this plastic is hot on the ends. So now I have both of these coming down. And I said this is where that marlin spike comes in handy because now I'm going to have to tuck underneath. goes underneath and the needle nose pliers also comes in handy here in grabbing it Try this again. This is why you burn the ends. Spike all the way through. And 
and then this just follows it through. There. Loosen it up just a touch here. Now, if you want to take a couple of extra tucks, you can do that. I'll probably take go through under one more set here. Get myself enough room. There's one. I've got enough room here. There are my two tucks. Now I'm going to cut this off. and burn them. A smaller flame would not hurt at this point. And there you have your double pass bracelet. Now you notice how important it is that you get everything consistent and even and nice and tight when you're doing this. Uh, when I came up from the bottom, I was a little bit loose on this first one, and you can see the inconsistency here. But after that, everything got to be more uniform, and snugged it up. And there is your two-pass paracord bracelet. As always, thank you for watching my videos. If you have any questions, please feel free to enter them into the comment section below. I hope you've really enjoyed this video. I really hope you've learned something. Have a great day, and hey, take your kids camping.